is up y'all it's your girl deandra welcome back to my channel as you can see by the title today i am doing my keto journey video and y'all i'm scared <laughs> like i've been putting this to the back for the longest because one i wanted to wait until i got closer to my goal which i did and two i was scared because my weight has always been a sensitive subject for me so the fact that i'm talking about it online in video form is scary <laughs> and it's like i'm proud of myself because it took me a long time to get comfortable in my skin and to be as confident as i am in myself now and so it's just so weird but i'm proud of myself because i'm doing it so, <laughs> so yeah let's just go ahead and get into this video for those of you who do not know what keto is, the ketogenic diet is a high fat, low carb diet and your body is burning fat instead of carbs. So it's just burning a lot of fat. And usually when you're on a regular diet, your body is trying to target the carbs um, and you're not doing that. <laughs> it's, it's targeting the fat, like you're trying to get rid of the fat. So it's basically you're eating a lot of fat and it's burning the fat. I don't know how that makes sense, but like you're eating a lot of fat, more fat than you would eat protein and um, carbs and you're burning that fat, if that makes sense. You're, burning, you're eating more fat and you're burning the fat. That's basically it. Now, keto is not for everybody. Like it's, it's honestly not like, a lot of people can't let go of their carbs and some people need carbs like you do you need your carbs like carbs are important but there are some carbs that are not important like for instance pasta yeah and you don't need it it's good but you don't need it um bread good but you don't really need it like it's just it's unnecessary carbs like your good carbs would be your fruit your vegetables um stuff like that you know your good carbs. I started keto July 29th of 2019 and I have lost a total of like 35 pounds and I still have 15 more pounds to go to get to my goal. And this is my third time trying keto <laughs> and staying consistent with it. And I'm very proud of myself because I've never been able to stay consistent to a diet before. And the fact that I was able to stay consistent to this and keep my mind focused on it is just like so shocking to me. It's so shocking. <laughs> I've tried a few diets before, you know, before this. And I've tried, you know, your regular fruit, veggie, meat diets. And I've also tried the smoothie diet, which I would never do again because the thought of a mango and spinach smoothie to this day makes me sick. And I have not had one in like nine months. But that, ugh, this really works for me. Keto really works. And like I said, it does not work for everybody. A lot of people can't stay consistent with it because you are losing out on a lot of your carbs. Carbs is like one of the main things that you need in your body. And so going from like, let's say 100 gram of carbs today to 30 to 20 carbs a day, that's a big change. And I do 21 carbs a day. If I'm overeating, I do like 25, but honestly, I do like 20 carbs a day and that's my day. And I can get, I'm so full on those 20 carbs. To get into ketosis, you have to eat like under, I think it's under 30 carbs. You need to stay under 30 carbs to get into ketosis. It takes like three days to get into it. Um, a lot of people have symptoms when it comes to it like you get the keto flu i've never had the keto flu i've had symptoms before like the first time i did it which is when like i just felt so lazy i didn't want to do anything i would work out and just feel like i was about to pass out um get headaches and that was all but now i don't get keto symptoms at all um i don't get any type of symptoms so yay me <laughs> A lot of people's worry when it comes to keto is weight gain if you stop. I'm not gonna lie. I've had cheat days. Like, I'll have my days, you know, wh where I want to eat something that's not on my menu. So like, some days I would want regular tacos or some days I would want chicken tenders. 
okay? Some days I want pancakes and it's not like I would do it every week. I'd do it like maybe once or twice a month. And my weight gain would be like maybe like one or two pounds. I think it's only when you stop keto completely, you will lose, you would probably gain all that weight back. But I haven't experienced it because I would have a cheat day and then I'll bounce right back. So I honestly don't know about the weight gain. I really don't. I don't know. You do not have to go to the gym on keto, but I personally recommend it. Not only do you feel good after going to the gym, but I feel like you gain a lot of muscle. Like you can train yourself to do things better at the gym. I'll show some videos and some pictures of my before and afters because honestly, y'all, it's amazing. I was never able to pull myself up on a, a bar and now I can do it. And it's just so crazy to me how over time you get better at things and how your mind trains itself to just be in a habit, y'all. And it's just crazy, <laughs> it's crazy. My thoughts on keto is that I honestly feel like it's a good diet. If it works for you, it works for you. And keto really works for me. It just depends on like the stuff that you're eating and how you're making it better for yourself. Like I've been doing it for so long to me. It's been a long time, like seven months. That's a long time to me. But since I've been doing it for a while and I've been seeing all this new stuff coming out to help me, like ice cream, they started making keto ice cream. There's keto friendly bread. Um, there's keto friendly chocolate. And there's just so many different recipes that you can do. You can still have pizza. It's just not regular crust. You can still have chocolate. It's just not regular sugar. Like, it's just so much that you can do. And it's a better lifestyle. To me, it is. It's better for me because I'm not getting bloated. I'm not gaining crazy weight for eating stuff that I'm not supposed to. And... It helps your skin <laughs> like and it also helps your skin and i found a lot of ways to cheat around like you know pop or cookies like it's so it's it's crazy like keto is nice and i'm so glad that i started it and i'm just i'm just really proud that i started it and i'm still on it and i'm just <laughs> that i'm really rocking it because i would have never thought that here I am seven months later, still on this same diet. Who would have thought? Not me, not me. So, <laughs> I think I've said everything that I can say in this video. I don't know what else to say besides if you wanna start keto, I do recommend it. Um, don't be afraid to change your lifestyle or your eating habits because keto is not bad in my eyes. It's not bad. Um, like I've said, I've had a nurse tell me that I'm gonna have a fatty liver, but I've always just seen people doing it for more than six years. And I think it just depends on your body. And my body likes keto. It's used to low carb now, and that's the way that I'm gonna keep it. So I do recommend keto. I think it's fun and it's a cool way to challenge yourself. And it's also fun to find, you know, different recipes. If you're on Pinterest, Pinterest always has different recipes. I even created a hot chocolate for keto and it tastes just like regular hot chocolate. So yeah, I do recommend keto. I'm gonna keep going. I'm still 15 pounds away from my goal. And yeah, <laughs> yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.